Hello all. In last video, we have seen how to write a good research protocol or we can say how to write a good research article part 1 and this video will be how to write a good research article part 2. So in that video, we have completed how to write a good introduction and methodology. Now in this video, we will be discussing about how to write results and discussion and referencing. So in results, we have to divide the results into two. One is descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics is used to describe our population and our objective, primary and secondary objective, you have to describe. Based on the outcomes, so we here we use on the base of the on the basis of the type of the variable that is if it is a categorical variable we will express it in frequency and percentages if it is a continuous variable then we express it in mean median mode and standard deviation basically the measures of central tendency and through measures of variability or dispersion so after describing the, the our uh, population and objective we will move on to inferential statistics that is we will infer something out of the data so here we use most of the association tests when it is category versus category that is one per one uh, uh, male and uh, urban area rural area means then we have to use chi-square test the commonly used test is chi-square test and there are assumptions for it we have to follow that also when a continuous variable is associated with the continuous variable say for example age is associated with blood pressure both are numbers so then we have to use correlation test this is these associations are one to one so this associations association tests are called as univariate analysis and in multivariate analysis we will uh, study one variable how that variable is decide, uh, predicted by multiple variables there we use regression analysis so uh, if we use these tests for our uh, results that will be more than enough in uh, uh, in upcoming videos we will deal in detail about uh, results so uh, now we move on to discussion discussion in discussion first and foremost thing we need to do is we need to consolidate our results our findings we have to compare it with the findings of the other studies and we have to explore the reasons for the differences through this we are going our intention is to fill the gaps which we addressed in the review of literature so a perfect discussion will address the gaps which was mentioned in the review of literature then in discussion we will always mention about the future scope in the studies we can uh, recommend in the same topic what uh, studies can be done in future then we, we can st discuss our strength of the study we can discuss about our limitations before somebody point at our fault we have to generously accept our fault when we describe this we can diplo uh, diplo use our diplomatic skills and write and accept our uh, limitations then we can based on our study result we can give recommendations and remember this is based on our studies we cannot recommend uh, something uh, which we have not done through our study so with this we can uh, comprehensively finish our discussion then the last part is our conclusion so conclusion we have to remember two things one is we have to answer our objective what was our we have to think what was our objective so what is the answer for this objective second question is you have to ask yourself so what so when you answer your objective so what so that will be the second line of your conclusion then next thing is references while writing the uh, research article we have to maintain the referencing all along the, the reference styling should be based on the university recommendations most commonly uh, universities in india recommends uh, vancouver styling 
uh, and uh, journals nowadays uh, they are shifting towards I, I, IJCME recommendations and uh, whatever the styling may be we if we use software it will automatically rearrange uh, things for you and uh, when you shuffle the references also the order also will not be changed so if you use uh, softwares for referen referencing that will immensely immensely help you in maintaining the referencing so it will not be a burden for you i hope this presentation was useful to you if you have any doubts you can post your comments uh, below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe wish you all the best thank you